Hello everybody. Today we are starting a new unit and we are reviewing what we know about decimals. Decimals, or in Spanish decimales, are numbers less than one. So for example, 0 0.75 is less than one whole in the same way that 75 cents is less than one dollar. 0 0.5 is actually half of a whole, still less than one whole. Decimals are another way to express fractions. So when I say one tenth of this circle or this rectangle, I could also write it as 0 0.10 because this is the tenths place. So that shows me that it's one tenth. Another way to think about it is like this. Before the decimal point, we know that numbers normally get bigger, right? Ones, and then we multiply by 10 for tens. We multiply again by 10 for hundreds and then for thousands. So here's one whole square. This is one tenth of the square. So now I divided the square by 10. And I could do one tenth of that for one hundredth. Or I could divide it by 10 again for a little tiny one thousand. So you can see that from the decimal point, numbers get smaller. So let's look at another example. This number is 1,725 with one tenth, two hundredths, and nine thousandths. I could also write it as one thousand plus seven hundredths plus twenty plus five, and then I get into my decimals. This is one tenth, two hundredths, and one thousandth. So notice how after the decimal point, if I have a hundredth, I'm going to need to put a zero in that tenths place so that my thousand or my hundredth, sorry, ends up in the right spot. Similarly with the thousandths, I know I have to be one, two, three steps over from that decimal point. So I need some zeros to get me to that third step. So make sure you're with decimals, you notice how many places away from the decimal point it is. If it's right next to it, oopsies, it's tenths. If it's to the right of it, it's hundredths. If it's all the way to the right of it, it is thousandths. So today we're just going to practice writing and breaking down decimals. Let me show you how. You're gonna go to the fifth grade Monday math because that's the one you'll see. And you click here, decimals day one homework. And then there are going to be some slides. On the first slide, we're matching the fractions to the decimals. So 99 hundredths matches with this one because this is 9 tenths and 9 hundredths, or we can say 99 hundredths. So we match your fractions to your decimals. And then you're going to practice breaking down a decimal. So with this number, you'll say this number has one thousandth, seven hundredths, two tens, or I'm sorry, I said thousandth, one thousand, seven hundreds, two tens, five ones, one tenth, two hundredths, and nine thousandths. And then on the next slides, you're going to fill in the missing pieces. So for example, this number right here, it's orange, I look for the orange, it's 4,000. So I'd write like this for that one. Okay, not too tricky, just a quick review.